If you were there for the last Palemo live stream, you would have seen me using statistics to go find myself an inside forward. Well, he certainly electrified our team and he's already scored three goals in his first four appearances and he's also created another goal. Leonez was found strictly by the use of statistics and on today's show, I'm going to explain how you can do the same thing. I'm going to explain how you will set up your views and then how you're going to import them because I understand that some of you have some issues. I'm using Microsoft Excel. I'm sure that you probably can do this with Google too, but um, you'd have to set up the formulas on your own. The process of extracting the numbers is essentially the same, regardless of whether you're using FM Stacks, Excel Calculator, Mine, or any other person's um, Excel spreadsheet. All you gotta make sure is that the views are the same. So if you are using my uh, Excel spreadsheet, you want to use the views that I provide you with. If you're using FM Stags ones, you're going to use his views as well. I've got two views. I've got one for the squad page and I've got one for player search, right? So these are the two areas where you're going to be using the views. Once you've imported the view, it should show up like this. Um, it should have all the data here. Now notice there's a lot of dashes. This will come out into the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how you're going to remove these. You're going to hit Control P and save it as a HTML file. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna open this Excel spreadsheet that I provided you with. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna open the file that you just exported. So this is the file that I just saved as a HTML file. I'm gonna open this up right now. And this is immediately gonna happen. You're gonna get two instances of the Excel spreadsheets. You're gonna have one, the one I provided you with, and you're gonna have another one, the one you just opened. Now, this, the file that you just opened, we will need to clean it up first. Is you're going to come in here and you're going to try and remove all the dashes because there are going to be quite a few dashes on this page. So what you can do is you can just come in here, highlight the whole thing here, up to here, and then go up to this. It says find and select and choose replace. I've replaced all the dashes with a zero, replace them all. It immediately replaces all of them. You got uh, quite... Um, it's replaced a few of them. Then come here where it starts from name. Click on this. Drag it across the screen. Right. Select the whole group of uh, uh, entries here. Right click. Hit the copy button. Now you've copied it. Go to the spreadsheet I provided you with. Now there's an empty sheet here. It's sheet 3. Come to this point here. Okay. Right click on it. And you see several options. You've got the first option is the one you want to avoid. This is space P. You can have a lot of, uh, you might have errors. So you want to use this option, which has got values. Immediately, the whole spreadsheet gets populated. So you're going to see a lot of um, numbers. Basically, everything is going to come in quite nicely. I've already set up filters for you. From largest to smallest. And now you might see this, right? An error. So all you have to do is you can come in here and just remove this. And once you do that, they will disappear. And this is how we found Leoness. This is the Excel spreadsheet. I'll explain it really quickly. Information on the player. These are the striking scores. Uh, basically, all the things that make up a decent striker. Then you've got other information about the attacking scores. Uh, these are the creative metrics. I put them in here. You've got dribbles, fouls against, uh, crosses completed, attempts, pass percentage, pass attempts per 90, completed per 90, key passes per 90, chances per 90, assists per 90, and total chances. And then we've got uh, dribbles, uh, distance per 90, interceptions per 90. These are all the defensive metrics. So essentially, these are defensive actions. And then finally, I've got my calculations here. I've got key tackles per 90, um, the non-penalty um, non goals XG, non-penalty XG per 90. Uh, we've also got non-penalty goals divided by the non-penalty XG. This for me is the scoring uh, metric. So if I wanted to find a good striker, it has to be like 1.3 and higher. 
as you can see there are quite a few players here who got 2.56 so sometimes you want to be careful like this player has probably not played a lot of games uh and this is really um yeah just one he had basically only had one chance and it was a great chance and therefore you know it's got a very inflated value here so you got to use a, a bit of common sense when you're judging a player uh here we've got striking scores the formulas up here if you want to check there's a i tried to remove errors as well um so this what do you if you're looking for a really good striker then it's like this right so here i think these are the top strikers uh builders up bata Gurdiel, Hamidou Konta, and Leones playing from the flanks. Now, I was looking for inside forward specifically. And then um, these are the creative scores. Now, creative scores are things like, you know, how many chances does he create for the rest of his teammates, that kind of thing. And then this mid score is basically a combination of these two to find, um, you know, support duties who like to get up the pitch. And then I have a total score for all these three players. Now, I could have done something like value as well and taken this and essentially taken his wage and divided this metric to come up with a kind of a valuation for the player but i thought that was a bit much uh, then uh, we've got an inside forward metric here i've got my own calculations now this is definitely a work in progress right okay i was looking for an inside forward so i have a metric for inside forwards essentially i've taken the um i kind of think that when you have inside forwards in the game you you want an inside forward not only scoring goals you want him to do things in dangerous areas things like dribbling against defenses drawing fouls um and scoring of course so these are the things i was looking for for an inside forward and what i've done is i've created my own metric right so it's it takes all these values you can of course you know can check out how these metrics work i didn't want to average out with the xg because ultimately he is going to have to score goals so this has to stand alone and uh, on its own whereas fouls against dribbles and the rest, you know, I've averaged it out to give us a pretty decent picture of the inside forward. I've done the same thing with the wingers, but the wingers have a slightly different metric. Uh, so when I looked for my own inside forward and we were looking for someone, this name popped up, Leone, Leone is Brazilian. Uh, he was a Brazilian. Uh, he's number two on this list and he's played quite a few matches. I liked how he, um, he plays, although he doesn't draw a lot of, uh, he doesn't commit a lot of tackles. He's also very aggressive. Our scouts came back and told us he had a competitive streak in him. And, well, he's been absolutely sensational. So, basically, the workflow is pretty straightforward. You want to open Microsoft Excel. First, you want to have the calculator or the scoring sheet or whatever you want to call it <laughs> opened up. Right. The second thing you want to do is you want to go to the game and you want to export the data as an HTML file and you want to save it where you can access it. The third thing you want to do is you want to open that file. You do not want to just copy the HTML. You don't want to open the file by its, because if you open it with a, by default um, file open, it's going to open it in a browser and then it's going to create all kinds of issues. For you. you want to make sure that you're opening it from the Excel program itself. Then once you've opened it, it's pretty easy from there. All you got to do is uh, find and replace the dashes with zeros copy that entire, in, copy the information that you need from there and paste it into the spreadsheet that has been provided for you. And then you can go and, you know, analyze your players. Now, I've already started a thread on the SI forums where I explain the logic of my choices. And oh, I also stream uh, three, twice a week, three times a week, actually. And you can catch up with the Palemo stream on Mondays and Fridays if, if you have more questions. Now, I'm definitely going to be looking for more players in the near future and i'll probably come up with metrics for those players as i go but i'm pretty certain that my inside forward metric is pretty spot on and uh you know if it, it's uh given us a player who's uh banging in the goals they, for the first time in palemos history they've won their first four matches including a very comprehensive win over tottenham hotspurs in the europa cup well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. You can always find me on the forums as well. The guys on Discord, hey, you know how to get in touch with me. And if you have more questions and you know on my Discord, that's perfectly okay. Uh, drop me a note in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video. And if you need any more help, yeah, just ask away and I'll try and help you out. You guys stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.